the National Weather Service defines a severe thunderstorm as being severe once it has hail greater than one inch in diameter, which is quarter-sized hail, winds greater than 58 miles per hour, or a tornado. Now, I'm going to be talking about the hail and the damaging winds and how both of those form. So first I wanted to get into how hail forms. Now hail forms from the updraft of a thunderstorm. Now every thunderstorm has an updraft and a downdraft. So we get that thunderstorm to grow and we get a strong updraft inside of that cloud. Now up in top of the cloud, snowflakes in, super cooled water droplets coexist. Now these collide with each other and they form an ice pellet and soon to be a hailstone. Now what happens with that hailstone is it will start to fall back to the ground. It will start to fall to the ground right before that updraft picks it right back up. So what happens is we'll get this to circulate within the cloud forming layer upon layer of ice on that hailstone. Now, if you actually cut a hailstone in, in half, you would be able to see the rings inside of the hailstone, the layers of ice kind of looking like the inside of a tree. And really the stronger the updraft you have, the larger the hailstone. So you could get hailstones like this. This is record hailstone eight inches in diameter, which could cause significant damage to your property, your car, or your home. So it's important to heed every severe thunderstorm warning. Now I wanted to get into damaging winds as well. We talked about that updraft. We also want to talk about the downdraft of the thunderstorm. Now inside of this thunderstorm, we get that warm updraft. Then we get that cool air that has evaporated inside that cloud. Now what happens is that cool air, it's denser than the warm air. It's going to push downwards and outwards in all directions. That's when we get the damaging winds. Now, damaging winds can cause significant damage. Although the air is not rotating like a tornado, it can clearly uproot trees like this one right here. This is from October 2006. It could cause significant damage to your home as well as so trees can topple over and cause damage to your home too. So once again, important to heed all severe thunderstorm warnings, whether it's hail or damaging winds. Oh.